O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Благословен Бог наш, залжен и посяк час и на веки веки. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O heavenly King, comforter, the spirit of truth, who are everywhere present and filling all things, treasure of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy might, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy might, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy might, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Oh, come, let us worship God our King. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down before Christ our King and our God. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down before him. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, you have been greatly magnified. You are clothed in confession and majesty. You put on light as a garment. You stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You cover us lost with water. You lay the clouds to stand on. You walk upon the wings of the wind. You make your angels spirits and your ministers a flame of fire. You establish the earth on its assurance, it shall never be moved. The deep covers it like a garment, the water will stand on the mountains. At your rebuke they will flee, at the sound of your thunder they will be afraid. Mountains rise and valleys sink to the place which you appointed for them. You set a boundary that neither shall cross. They will not return to cover the earth. You will make springs gush forth in the valleys, the waters will run between the mountains. They will give drink to the beasts of the field. The wild asses will quench their thirst. The birds of the air will have their habitation beside them. Gushing forth on the rocks, they will give voice. You water the mountains from your lofts. The earth will be satisfied by the fruit of your works. You cause grass to grow for the cattle and plants for the service of man to produce bread from the earth. One gladdens the heart of man to make his, fear, his face cheerful with oil and bread strengthens the heart of man. The trees of the plain will be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which you planted. There will the sparrows make their nest, the heron's dwelling is chief among them. The high mountain are for the deer, and the rock is a refuge for the hares. You made the moon for seasons, the sun knows its setting. You ordered darkness, and it became night. Therein will all the beasts of the forest creep forth, young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to do his work and labor until the evening. How magnified are your works, O Lord, in wisdom you have made them all. The earth is replete with your creations. The sea, how great and spacious it is. There in all innumerable and creeping things, animals both small and great. There do ships traverse, there is the dragon you made to play therein. All look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they will gather. You will open your hand, and all things will be filled with goodness. When you turn your face away, they will be troubled. You will take away their spirit, and they will cease and return to their dust. You will send forth your spirit, and they will be created. 
you will renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord will rejoice in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will chant to the Lord my God for as long as I have been. May my discourse be pleasant to him. I shall rejoice in the Lord. O the sinners, what cease from the earth, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul, the sun knows its setting. You ordered darkness, and it became night. How magnified are your works, O Lord, you made them all in wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Mary, Gospodi, vi pomognimo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Za mere z neba spasinje duši naši, Gospodi, vi pomognimo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Za mere s osvijetom, za dobre sanjstvo, za Božo seko, za sahinje svih, Gospodi, vi pomognimo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Za se te hramci, za te šubirije, po Božo, to srakom Božo, kato to njo, Gospodi, vi pomognimo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Za ovdje, Za vladeko našo vesoko, prišeše nišo metropoleta Jurija, za vladeko našo prišeše nišo pesko polariona, za česi presvito su hrisi diakonstvo, za vse prišeši ljudi, gospoda, vi pomodimo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Za obomni bem bom brežaj kraj naš Kanadu, za ulja vesoko, za vse pobožni narodu naš, Gospoda, vi pomognimo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Za misto naše, za vse misto, vse li Ukrajinu, za te, što povi život od ne, gospoda, vi pomognimo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Za dobri polite, za vorežaj podizemni, za če se meri, gospoda, vi pomognimo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Za podorožni na vode i na zemlji povitre, za nadužen da možno da polovolene, za spasinje je, gospoda, vi pomognimo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Što bez volete za vidu vsjaku i skoro vodu, nebo na besi paketo li doli, gospoda, vi pomognimo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Za stupi spasi, pomiluj, hora nas Bože tvoje i obladatju. Gospodi, pomiluj. Prisvetu i prečesu, preblasovenu se v njim vladeču našu porodicu, Presudimo Mariju, za vsim se te pomnenuši, sami sebe den odno, za če te nas kresu, Bohovi bi tomu. Tobi, Hospodi. Bo, tobi nalažu tu vsjaka slava, čas i poklonjeni, oci v esenu in svetomu dukovi, in neni po vsjak čas in na viki viki. Amin. Blessed is the man that has not walked in the counsel of the ungodly. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous and the way of the ungodly will perish. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice in him with trembling. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are all that put their trust in Him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Salvation is from the Lord, and your blessings are upon your people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory 
to you, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy, and us protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance, most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves, one another, and all our life unto Christ, our God. To you, O Lord. For you were a good God and lover of mankind, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. Lord, I have cried unto you, hear me, hear me, O Lord. O Lord, I have cried unto you, hear me, attend to the voice of my supplication. When I cry out to you, hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer be set forth as incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. O Lord. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, and a door of enclosure above my lips. Incline not my heart to evil words, to make excuses in sin. With those who work iniquity, I will not associate with the choicest of them. Let the righteous man chasten me, have mercy, and reprove me. As for the oil of the sinner, let it not anoint my head. For even my prayer is against their good pleasure. Their judges have been swallowed up by the rock. They hear my words, for they are sweet. As a clod of earth is broken on the ground, so their bones are scattered by the side of Hades. For to you, O Lord, are my eyes, I have hoped in you. Take not away my soul. Keep me from the snare which you have laid for me, and from the stumbling block of those who work iniquity. The sinners fall at their own net, I am apart from them until I pass by. With my voice, the Lord, I have cried. With my voice, the Lord, I have made my supplication. I shall pour out before him my supplication. My afflictions before him shall I declare. As my spirit was departing from within me, you knew my paths. On this way which I was walking, you hid a snare for me. I looked to my right and beheld, and there was no one who knew me. There is no escape for me, and no one who cares for my soul. I cried out to you, O Lord, and I said, You are my hope, you are my portion, the land of the living. Attend to my supplication, for I have been greatly humbled. Deliver me from those who persecute me, for they have become stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, and I may praise your name. Come, let us rejoice in the Lord, who has, who has smashed the might of death and enlightened the human race. We cry with the bodiless power, our Creator and Savior, glory to you. The righteous man shall wait for me until you recompense me. For us, O Savior, you endure the cross and burial, but as God, by your death you put death to death. And then so we worship your resurrection on the third day. Lord, glory to you. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. The apostles marveled when they saw the creators rising and cried aloud the angelic hymn of praise. This is the glory of the church and the wealth of the kingdom. O Lord, who suffered for us, glory to you. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. 
Though you were seed by lawless men, O Christ, yet you are my God, I am not ashamed. Your back was scourged, do you, I not deny you. You were all nailed to a cross, I do not hide. I make my boast in your rising, for your death is my life. O powerful one of mankind, glory to you. If you should mark iniquity, O Lord, O Lord, who will stand for with you, here is forgiveness. Fulfilling David's prophecy, Christ revealed his own greatness to silent his disciples, showing that he was praised and ever glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Before the word with flesh as word, later for us incarnate and put to death as man, and rising without authority, he loves mankind. Because of your name I have waited on you, O Lord. My soul has walked in your word. My soul has hoped in the Lord. You, you descended into the world, O Christ. You despoiled death as God and Master, and rose on the third day, raising with yourself the bonds of Hades from corruption. Adam has cried out and said, Glory to your resurrection, only lover of mankind. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. The Lord my Creator took me in dust of heaven. With the breath of life he gave me a soul and made me a living creature. He honored me as ruler of all and all things visible and companion to the angels. But Satan, the deceiver, bring the serpent to his instrument. Entice me by food, separated me from the glory of God, and gave me over to the earth in the lowest depths of death. But his master compassionate call me back. For to the Lord there is mercy in him, there is abundant redemption. He will redeem Israel from all his iniquity. Wretched that I am, I have cast off the robe woven by God, disobeying your divine command, O Lord. And I am clothed now in fig leaves and garments of skin. I condemn to eat the bread of the toil, the sweat of my brow. And the earth has been cursed so that it hears thorns and thistles for me. But, Lord, who at the last times were made flesh of a virgin, call me back and bring me to the paradise again. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all you people. O precious paradise, unsurpassed beauty, tabernacle built by God. Unending gladness and delight, glory of the just, joy of prophets, dwelling place of saints. With the sound of your leaves, implore me to the Maker of all, to open me as the gates when I close my transgression. I may count me worthy to partake of the tree of life, and the joy of which I dwelt that I dwelt before. For his mercy has prevailed over us, and the truth of the Lord abides forever. Adam was banished from paradise through disobedience, cast out from delight, beguiled by the words of a woman. Naked he sat opposite the place, woe is me. Therefore he, he let us all make haste to accept the season of the fast, and obey the traditions of the gospel, that through we may become well-pleasing to Christ, and once more receive paradise in our dwelling. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Adam sat opposite paradise, and lamenting his nakedness, he wept, Woe is me! 
By evil deceit I was persuaded and robbed in exile from glory. Woe is me, once naked in my simplicity, and now I am in want. But paradise no longer shall I enjoy your delight. No more shall I look upon the Lord my God and Maker. For I shall return to the earth whence I was taken. Merciful and compassionate Lord, I cry to you. Have mercy on me who am fallen. Both now and ever, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. You were known as Mother before nature, O Mother of God. You remained a virgin beyond reason and understanding. No tongue can expound the marvel of your childbearing. For why you conceived up your virgin was wondrous. The manner Blessed of your childbearing your cannot be comprehended. For wherever God. God wills, the order of nature is overthrown. Therefore we all acknowledge you as the mother of our God. We implore you insistently, intercede that our souls may be saved. Primudris daimo popozo, wisdom let us stand aright. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed, O Lord Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For meet it is at all times to worship thee, with voices of praise, O Son of God, and giver of life. Therefore all the world doth glorify thee. <laughs> Господ, во царе все валишний зодят нуся. Господ, Господ, во царе и вся и величист, во дня вся. The Lord is put on power and girded himself. The Lord is king. He has clothed himself with majesty. Bo vinu turezen veselenu nezas ketayet ya bona. O spot vocarivsia o velicis zodialovsia. Holiness befits your house, Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king. He has clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is king. He has clothed himself with majesty. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great loving kindness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray mercy, for his eminent Lord, metropolitan unity for our bishop, his grace, the lady on, and for all our brethren Lord, in Christ. Mercy, Lord, have mercy, Again, we pray Lord, for our God loving and God protected country, mercy, Canada, its government, armed forces, Lord, and for all our pious Lord, people, that the Lord God will help them in all things and protect Lord, them from every enemy Lord, and adversary. Mercy, Lord, Again, we pray for the blessed Lord, and ever memorable mercy, Orthodox patriarchs, for the founders Lord, of this holy temple, mercy, and for all Orthodox Christians, Lord, part of this life before us, who here and everywhere lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, Lord, health, salvation, God's visitation, Lord, and the forgiveness and remission of sins for the servants of God, Lord, the parishioners of this holy temple. Lord, Again, we pray for those who bring offerings to do good works in this holy, all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people who are present to wait your great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God and lover of mankind, until we send up glory to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Our safe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed be, O Lord, the God of our fathers. And praising glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercies be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. Through the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Do pobnimo vechu molitu nasho spodavi. Gospodi pomiluj. Zastupi spasi pomiluj hora nas Bože Tvojeju blagodatju. Gospodi pomiluj. Ja se ozvršio se to spokinost pesrišno u Gospoda prosimo. Vodaj, Gospodi. Angela mira vjednoho provina kao hora neto duši tila nasho Gospoda Prosimo, O Dai Hospodi, Proši ne vipušnja reke uta provene našu Hospoda, Prosimo, O Dai Hospodi, Dobro i požetošno da duše naše to mere da svitu, O Hospoda, Prosimo, O Dai Hospodi, Šo breše žete naše mere ta pokine s kenčelemi, O Hospoda, Prosimo, O Dai Hospodi, Cristiansko, kinsja žete našo, bez bolezo, bez nohadno, milno i dobro vid, vid po vid nas, razumem se dek Hrisvodim, prosimo. O daj, Hospodi. Hrisje tu ju pričesu, prvel se vednu, so vnil vladeču našu, bo rodocu presudil Mariju, so s tim se te pomnanuše, sami se beden odnoho, vsa žete naš Hrisu, Boho vivi, Domo, Tobi, Gospodi, Bo ti blahe človeko ljubec, Bo je si tebi slavo vasilaj moci, Uj senu i svetomu duhovi, I neni po vsjak čas i na viki viki. Amen. Miru sim pis bi antu vol. I duhovi tvoj amo, Holovi naši bi ko njim pered hospodo. Tobi, hospodi. O Lord our God, you bowed the heavens and you came down for the salvation of the human race. Look upon your servants and, and your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge who loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and bent their necks. And would you not help from men, but entreating your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and approaching night, from every enemy, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and evil imaginings. Nekaj budet vlada, carstva jo, tvoj blahoslovena, 
Найславніша Отця і Сина і Святого Духа, нині по цяк час і на віки віки. Амінь. You rose from the tomb, Savior of the world, and with your flesh you raised mankind, all our glory to you. The Lord is King, he has clothed himself with majesty. Come, let us worship the one who rose from the dead and lightened all things. For he has freed us from the tyranny of hating through the rising on the third day, so granting us life and his great mercy. For he has established the universe which shall not be shaken. Christ, by descending below Hades, you despoiled death, and by rising on the third day, you raised us with you. As we glorified your all-powerful rising, all our glory to you. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. Fearful you appeared, Lord, as you lay in the tomb. But rising on the third day in power, you raised you, Adam, who cried, Glory to your resurrection, O only lover of mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through eating, Adam was cast out of paradise, and so he sat in front of it, and he wept, lamenting with a pitiful voice, and saying, Woe is me that I have suffered, wretched that I am. I transgressed one commandment of the Master, now I'm deprived of every good thing. Most holy paradise planted because of me and shot because of Eve. Pray to him who made you and fashioned me, that once I was filled with your flowers. And the Savior said to him, I do not want the creature which I am fashioned to perish and to be saved and come to the knowledge of truth, because of one who comes to me, I will no way cast out. Both now and ever to the ages of ages, amen. Christ the Lord, my maker and redeemer, came forth from your womb, all pure virgin, and having clothed himself in me, he freed Adam from the curse of old. Therefore, with never silent voice, we cry to the Mother of God and Virgin, with the angel's salutation. Hail, Sovereign Lady, Garden and Protector of Salvation of our soul. Now let us depart in peace, O Master, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light of salvation for the Gentiles, and the glory of your people Israel. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins, O Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Bo tvoje sara, tvoje sile, slavo, tja i sena, i sveto duha, 
Neni pos yakcha sina viki viki. Amen. You destroy death by your cross. You who hope in paradise to the thief. You change the myrrh bearers weeping and commanded your apostles to proclaim that you have risen, O Christ God, granting to the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. As the treasure of our resurrection, risen the pit of the abyss of their sins, those who have put their hope in you, O blessed one, having given birth to our salvation, you have saved us from the punishment of our sins. You are a virgin before giving birth, you are a virgin while giving birth. And after childbirth, you ever remain a virgin. Premudris. Blachoslovi. Blachosloven Christos, Bog nas zaužen in posjakas, in na viki viki. Make firm, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and all Orthodox Christians to the ages of age. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the chair, you bear me more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, you gave birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify you. Glory to you, Christ your God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May Christ your true God, who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure mother, of the holy glories and all praised apostles, of the martyr Eudocia of Herapolis, the martyrs Nestor, Trimbos, Marcellus, and Anthony of Perth in Pompilia, the martyr Antonina of Nisa in Bithyan, the venerable Domit, Domnina of Syria, and of all the ancestors, holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, for his majesty is good, and the lover of mankind. Amen. Amen. Our Metropolitan is Eminence Uri, Archbishop of Winnipeg, the Central Eparchy, Metropolitan of Canada. Our Bishop is Grace Hilarion, Bishop of Edmonton and the Western Eparchy, the parishioners of this holy temple and all Orthodox Christians. Protect, O Lord, for many years. Slava Jesus Christu. Slava Naviki. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Today we commemorate the holy monastic martyr Yudokia, who was a Samaritan, a native of the city Herapolis in Phoenicia, modern day Belbek who lived during the reign of Tarjan. Her pagan in, in piety took her off the good path, and for a long time she led a sinful life. Her soul was deadened and her heart hardened. Edoakia awoke one night at midnight and heard singing from the house of a Christian woman next to hers. A monk was reading from a book which described the last judgment the punishment of sinners, and the reward of the righteous. The grace of God touched Yedokia's heart, and she grieved because of her great wealth and for her sinful life. 
In the morning, Yedokia hastened to call on the man who, whose rule of prayer she heard the previous night. It was a monk named Germanus, returning from pilgrimage to the holy places to his own monastery. Yedokia listened to a long, for a long time to the guidance of the elder, and her soul was filled with joy and love for Christ. She asked Germanus to stay in her home for a week, during which she secluded herself in her room and spent her time in fasting and prayer. The elder Germanus told her to give away her wealth and to forget her previous life. Yodokia received holy baptism from Bishop Theodotus of Heraclius. <coughs> she entered a monastery and took upon herself very strict acts of penance. The Lord granted forgiveness to the penitent sinner and endowed her with spiritual gifts. After she had become the head of the monastery, the young pagan Philostratus, one of her former lovers, heard of her conversion to Christ and longed to see her again. Aflame with impious passion, he came into the monastery in a guise of a monk and began to urge Iodokia to return to her apples and resume her, for, resume her former life. May God rebuke you and not allow you to leave these premises, Iodokia cried. Then the impostor fell down dead, fearing that she had served at fearing that she had served as an accomplice to murder. The sisters intensified their prayer and besought the Lord to reveal to them his will. The Lord appeared to Saint Eodokia in a vision and said, Arise, Eodokia, and pray for the resurrection of the dead man. Through Eodokia's prayers, Philostratus received, revived. Having been restored to life, the pagan began, begged the nun to forgive him. After he was baptized, he went back to Herapolis. From that time, he never forgot the mercy of God shown him, and, and he started on to the way of repentance. Some time passed, and another situation occurred. Inhabitants of Herapolis reported to the governor, Arulian, that Eudokia had taken gold and silver out of the city and concealed it in, at the monastery. Arulia sent a detachment of soldiers and confiscated these supposed treasures. For three days, the soldiers try, tried in vain to approach the walls of the monastery, but an invisible power of God guarded it. Arulian again sent soldiers to the monastery, this time under the command of his own son. But on the very first day of the journey, Arulian's son in, injured his leg and soon died. Then. Philostratus counseled Arulian to write to Mother Eudokia, imploring her to revive the youth. And the Lord, in his infinite mercy, and through the prayers of Saint Eudokia, restored the youth to life. Having witnessed the great, this great miracle, Arulian and his close associates believed in Christ and were baptized. When persecutions against Christians intensified, they arrested Eudokia and brought her to the governor, Diogenes, to be tortured. While torturing the saint, the military commander, Diodorus, received news of the sudden death of his wife, Fermina. In despair, he rushed to Saint Eudokia with a plea to pray for his departed wife. The monastic martyr, filled with great faith, turned to God with prayer and besought him to return Fermina to life. As eyewitnesses of the power and grace of the Lord, Diodorus and Diogenes believed in Christ and were baptized together with their families. Saint Diodokia lived for a while at the house of Diodorus and enlightened the newly illumined Christians. Once the, once the only son of a certain widow who was working in the garden was bitten by a snake and died. The mother wept bitterly for her dead son and asked Diodorus to res resurrect him. Learning of her grief, Saint Eudokia said to Diodorus, the time is at hand for you to show faith in the Almighty God. 
who hears the prayers of penitent sinners and in his mercy grants them forgiveness. Theodorus was distressed, not considering himself worthy of such boldness before the Lord, but he obeyed Saint Ildikia, who prayed, and in the name of Christ he commanded the dead one to rise, and before the eyes of everyone present the youth revived. Saint Ildikia returned to her monastery where she lived in asceticism for 56 years. After Diogenes died, the new governor was Vince, Vincentius, a fierce persecutor of Christians. Having learned of the accomplishments of the saint, he gave orders to execute her. The holy martyr was beheaded on March 13th, 14th, 107. One, sometimes when you hear these lives of these saints, one begins to question why people don't come to the Orthodox faith. Why was the church persecuted this way? You know, we hear of all of these resurrections with just one saint's life. But still, with the changing of the governor, there's the hardening of hearts and persecutions begin again. We have to remember that even though we might be doing good, even though the church stands to, to be an example, to show us the way to the glorious resurrection of our Lord, that there are many who still no matter how many miracles are before them, refuse to see what is there. They refuse to see the, the healing purposes of the church. So as we stand on the threshold of the great and holy fast, as we prepare for tomorrow evening, for the forgiveness vespers, as we enter into the great and holy fast. Let us be like Saint Eudokia, who even through deception forgave that young, that man who was once her lover. Who even through persecution, through attacks of her monastery forgave and revived the son of the governor. Let us forgive one another. Let us renew our relationship with our Lord as we enter into the great and holy fast. And let us not enter with burdens, with weight of things of the past, but rather with the forgiveness and the love that we offer and pray that it be offered to us. I thank you all for joining us this evening for this Vesper service. I remind you that tomorrow we will be having the Divine Liturgy beginning with the hours at 9.30, Divine Liturgy at 10 a.m. Don't forget this evening uh, to spring your clocks ahead an hour for those who are, are, are still needing to do that with their clocks um, as uh, our uh, those who are all on the, the, the digital on your phones and that you're, you you'll be should be okay um, but don't forget to spring your head clocks ahead an hour um, as well uh, I remind you uh, as well that tomorrow evening uh, at 5 p.m. we will be serving the Forgiveness Vespers here uh, at the church. Um, we can't do the normal act of forgiveness um, as we would normally on this, this Sunday, um, but I ask that you take the, chat and take the opportunity to, uh, for those who you are in contact with, to ask for forgiveness and to forgive those who uh, and, and forgive those who you are in contact with, but also to um, 
and use whatever means possible to extend that forgiveness beyond uh, to all those uh, within your life. Uh, I thank you. May you have a good evening. Christ is in our midst.